Mustang and today I'm going to be doing a review on the 1959 Cadillac Cyclone XP74 concept. That's a mouthful. It's 335,000 without the bundle, but with the bu bundle it's only 200k if you already had the BMW Z4. Like I'm going to push for you to bundle that way you can see the bundle too. And I'm going to buy it out of the bundle because I mean, why not? But from what I know about this car, I've read up a little bit about it, out of curiosity. It was meant to challenge the T-Bird. It was meant to have a futuristic design and challenge the T-Bird. Well, of course it never came out. As concept cars in the 50s usually never came out. But as you can see, it's 268000 with the bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the bundle and I'll see you guys out on the track. Here I am with the Cadillac, fully upgraded, and to be honest, doesn't handle too bad. I mean, there's nothing much you can expect from a car built in 1959, because I drove it a little bit. It doesn't handle all that bad, but of course you'll get more after I'm done with the race. But of course, as usual, there's no tune, and the track we're going to be, of course, using is a Mudder Road 66, or Mudder Route 66. Let's see, let me check. Because I might got that wrong. Yep, Mudder Road 66. Now, as usual, I'll go quiet and I'll see you guys after the race. Just getting started. Okay, now on to my thoughts about the Cadillac. Not bad! I mean, 
it handles better than the 57 Eldorado. Because the 57 Eldorado, I remember when I first got it, it understeered like a pig. Which, of course, 1957, I mean, it's one of those things I know what to expect, depending on the year of the car. And this car actually handles surprisingly very well. I mean, it has a little sloppy here and there, but, you know, tune, that's what tunes are for. I mean, stiffen the sway bar, stiffen the anti-sway bars, maybe touch up some other things, and this thing will handle damn good. At least for the year it is, I mean... To be honest, I don't think it's a PvP winner. I mean, I can tell you that already. But would it be a cool car to add to your collection? Yeah, it's a cool looking car. I mean, I mean, of course, the years haven't been, haven't been fine to it as an aging, but it still looks pretty cool. Because they, this car was inspired after, you know, rockets and jets and airplanes and anything at that time that they were doing, you know, that they were doing. And there is customization for this thing. Like, you could change the wheels, you could put a bubble roof, as I'll call it, which is a clear glass roof. And that was really, and paint the brake calibers, and I think that was really about all. And, of course, you put liveries and paints and vanity items and all that on. But, would I recommend getting this car? Well, you kind of have to if you're going to go into the Summit. But would I recommend this car after the Summit? Yeah, it's a cool car to add to your collection. I mean, as I say, he was better than the 57 Dorado, El Dorado. So, I'll recommend buying this even after the Summit. Just as just as an awesome car to have. I mean, as I said, it's a pretty awesome car. And of course, you have to buy it anyway for the Summit. So you have to buy it anyway if you're going to use it, or if you're going to want it right, if you're going to do the Summit right now. So I do recommend buying it. Even though if the summit is over, and I don't think it's a PvP machine, I can tell you that much. That's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.